have an appointment to visit one of Milan's smallest tailoring studios, but honestly, it is taking me forever to find this place. Hello, Hello Francesco. Yeah. Great to meet you. Nice great to meet, to meet you. you. You find us easily? No. Ah. You, you don't have, there's no sign on the door, there's no number. Yeah, in I, fact, it's very difficult to find. Why? We are a little bit hidden, like all well, well, Milan is hidden, so yeah. we like this way to, to be. Why, why would you do, like as a business, why would you hide? Yeah, because uh, our place is not a touristical place, it's something more for, for a niche for people that are entender, so. Oh. Uh, Okay, so they need to know you're here and yeah, then you come. Yeah, of course. Milan is a hidden city, all right. You'd never think that down this nondescript street, behind an unmarked door, across a courtyard, up an antique elevator, and in a small apartment is one of Milan's great tailoring studios. Today is easy to find many tailors, but it's very difficult to find a, a good sartoria and a tradition that is very important in this kind of work. My father started when, when he was uh, nine years old. And when did you start? Uh, I started when I was uh, 11 with my father. Yeah. 11? Yeah. So like after school, weekends? After, after school, weekends, and, and that where do we you, started. Do you have anything that you made? Uh, when well, you were a little kid. these trousers. The where, trousers. Uh, I, I I started by making waistcoats and trousers. So yeah. uh, the first thing you have to learn. Wait, are wait, wait, wait! Just... You made these when you were twelve years old. Yeah. I... Yeah. Okay, these well, are, are very simple trousers. I mean, well, but... no, no, come on, yeah. simple trousers. You made pants. I yeah. mean, that's amazing. When you're twelve years old. Most 12 year olds are not interested in making pants. They're not gonna, you know what I mean? Yes, they wanna I, play. I think that uh, things are connected. For example, I started also playing music and uh, we had the collection of uh, our art paintings. So uh, it's all, uh, all connected to me. Uh, if you are just uh, a tailor, maybe you, you learn to stitch uh, um, it's not uh, everything about that. It's not a stitching that makes you a tailor. Uh, I mean, uh, you can stitch, but you have to think what you're stitching. It's uh, a mixture of your proper character. So mm -hmm. that, that's why I think that tailoring must uh, have a strong character in what you do. Because at the end, if you, if you produce just a jacket, it's just like a, a, a normal jacket that you, you can look around. But if, if it is uh, your character that you put in what you do, at the end, it's uh, your personality that goes around. That's fantastic because, I mean, in some senses, you think of custom tailoring as an expression of the customer. But you're also saying it's an expression of the tailor. Yeah, of course. When you ask, uh, for example, Modigliani, to, to have one of his paintings. He didn't ask you what, what you want. I can do, for example, a leaf in this way or that way. Uh, it's uh, his own method of seeing things, and this right. is uh, tailoring. Architects make buildings, and instead uh, we create a building for the human body. This is art to me.